Hi everybody, John from Wire here, and in this video we're going to change our website favicon on our Shopify store. And if you don't know what a favicon is, it's this little icon that you see whenever you browse to any of the websites, and you'll see that every little tab I have open here has a different favicon. So this website has one here, uh, this is my Shopify store, this is my favicon, and sometimes I want to change this favicon to something different from the Shopify logo, and I have a picture of an owl that I'm going to change it to, which is a little bit cuter and it's gonna be much more relevant to my store. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can change your store favicon to an image of your own. So to begin, you wanna go ahead and log into your Shopify admin dashboard, and then go ahead and click on online store. When you're in the online store section, go ahead and click on themes, and then click on customize for the active theme. The next thing is gonna depend on what theme you have, but in my theme, I go to the header section and then to the favicon area. If you don't have this section or you can't find where this favicon option is, you might have to consult with a theme developer or you're gonna be using an older theme, which I'll talk about later on in the video. So let's say we've navigated this location, we know where we can upload our favicon. Uh, let's go ahead and replace it with an image of our own. And if you don't have an image that you want to replace it with yet, you can go ahead and create one within Photoshop, which is what I've done here. And let's take this regular image and just save it to the dimensions we need in order to upload it to the favicon section. So favicons by default go by 32 by 32. So if I go to file and then export, export as, I just want to make sure that my canvas size is 32 by 32. And of course I can always change the image size as well to get this to align. I don't really care about aligning right now because I'm not going to be using this image. But if I have my canvas size set as 32 by 32, export and make sure that it's PNG and it's transparent, and then I can go ahead and upload that later on. Let's say you don't have Photoshop though, and you still want to make a favicon. So what you do is you go to one of these websites like this one, and I'll include this link in the description below, and you want to choose the photo that you want for your favicon. So as I said earlier, I have this picture of the owl that I want to choose. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the owl picture and then upload it to the website. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and wait for this to load. Um, this is a really fancy one, but you can use other websites too. If it has this error that says your picture is not square, just go ahead and click on continue with this picture. You can always go ahead and adjust it later. Then scroll down to the bottom and then wait until it says generate your favorite favicons in HTML code. Uh, you don't have to wait for this to load, just as long as you can see this button here, you're ready to go. And then finally, once you get to this page, you just want to wait for this button to load right here. And this will download uh, a file of all the different Fabricons that you can use. Great. So that went ahead and downloaded it, and I'm going to go ahead and open that up so you can see it now. Okay, so this is the file that was just downloaded from this website. And as you can see, there's a lot of different options here that you can use. Most of these have to do with different browsers and different formats for different areas that you want to put it, whether you have like an iOS app or a Chrome app or something like that. But the only one we really care about is this favicon.ico, and it kind of looks like that. So I'm going to go ahead and remember that that's the one I want to use, and then go back to the section where I can upload my favicon in my Shopify store. So I'm gonna replace the default favicon with the favicon ICO that we just generated from the website. And then I'll wait for it to upload. And it should go ahead and show you what it looks like right here. I'm gonna click on save. And then finally I'm gonna open an incognito window to see if my favicon has actually been uh, uploaded to the site. So I'm going back to my Shopify store. And as you can see, my favicon has changed from the Shopify logo to my little owl. So that's how you successfully upload your favicon if you have a templated theme. If you don't have a templated theme and you don't have this type of section, you have to go and do something different. And I'll show you how we can do that now. So excuse me, if you have a sectioned theme, it's gonna be really easy and we just do what we just did. 
But if you don't have a section theme, and you can't find this section where it has you uploading a favicon image, you can go and click on the non-sectioned theme, and this is a help guide that I'll also include in the video description below. And it'll tell you step by step on how you can go and upload that same .ico in the file we downloaded from this website to your liquid file inside of your code. So let's go ahead and pretend like we're going to do that now. Even though we do have this option, I'm just going to do this for the folks that don't have this option within their theme. So I'm going back into my theme section, and then I'm going to go on Actions and then Edit Code. And then I'm looking for the section that says Assets, which is right here. And then Add a New Asset. And then from this area, we're going to go ahead and upload the ICO image that we had from that folder. So if I go here and then I choose my file, I'm going to choose favicon.ico ICO, and then click on Open, and then click on Upload Asset. And then finally, I'm going to go to theme.liquid. I'm going to paste the following code between my headers. So if I'm still within the customized, customized theme section, I'm just scrolling all the way to the top where it says theme.liquid. And then here's my first head, and then here's the end of my header. And anywhere within here, I'd probably just make a tab right below the bottom one here. I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste uh, this code right here because I have a .ico extension. So I'm not going to go ahead and do this because my theme doesn't support this. But if I were to go ahead and do this, you would go ahead and click on Preview and then Save. And you'll have that favicon appear as well. If this doesn't work, you may have to consult with your theme developer, but for the most of the themes that you purchase off of the Shopify theme store, it should have the option to directly upload the theme, or excuse me, directly upload the favicon as we did earlier. I hope this helped, and if you have any questions, I do read all the comments listed below in the comment section. I really hope that you enjoyed this, and I hope you have a great day.